What's going on, DMG Clan? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to back up your games using your hack switch and dump them onto your make flash slish flart. So let's jump in and level up our gaming knowledge even more in 2025, 2024. Right. That's the year it is now. All right, mobile gamers. So the very first thing you need is at this point of time until we see the dumper tool a hacked nintendo switch whether it be a switch Lite, a switch oled or a normal switch you need some sort of hack switch at this point in time with the fact that we have no idea if we're ever going to be getting our mig switch flash dumper a S nintendo switch Lite is actually pretty cheap when you can buy it off aliexpress hacked already for under 250 bucks so i highly recommend you go do that if you want to dump your own games another thing you're gonna need obviously is a game of some sort i'm gonna be using legend of zelda link's awakening and you're going to also need a micro sd card of some sort i'm gonna be using just 128 gigabyte micro sd card because that's big enough for me now if you know your menu for your hacked nintendo switch you're gonna need to navigate to your homebrew menu and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna open up my game, hold down R and wait for my homebrew menu to load up. And we're gonna look for the USB file transfer tool. Now you're gonna plug your computer into your switch and then you're gonna press A. So now our switch is gonna be on our computer. Now I can see my micro SD card. I have a 256 micro SD card in here. And I'm going to navigate to the MIG switch website. As you can see here, I already have it open and you're going to go to downloads and instructions and you're going to look for the latest MIG dump tool. Now, as of today, it is version 0.0.2 and you're going to grab the NRO executable NRO executable. You're going to go into your file manager and then you're going to grab that NRO executable. You're going to copy it. You're going to go to your Nintendo switch, go to your SD card go to switch and then paste it inside of the root of the switch folder right here. Now I'm going to rename this executable so that it doesn't say the brackets dot one. That's just because I've already downloaded it before, just like so. Now you might not have to do that if you've never downloaded it. Now, the next thing you're going to do is press on your Nintendo switch, the start icon, and then you're going to see that we have the MIG switch dumping tool. Now you're gonna press the home icon. You're gonna press Y, press close. Now you're going to put your game inside of your Nintendo Switch that you're going to dump. I'm gonna be dumping my Link's Awakening. So put your game in there all nice and dandy, just like candy, and there it is. Now you don't have to load the game that you wanna dump, but we're going to just go into Minecraft or whatever game you have downloaded already. As you can see, I needed to do an update so let's press A on the game that we're going to load into and then go into our homebrew menu again. Go over to the MIG switch dumper, press A. Now this is optional. You can change your output if you want to, to a different storage. I'm not doing this with the PC. I find it so easy just to download it into my micro SD card. So all I'm going to do is go easy, click one dump, and then it's going to dump my game that is currently inside of my console. Just wait for it to finish doing that. It does take some time depending on the game that you're dumping. All right, now that your game is successfully dumped, we can get out of MIG switch by pressing the start icon or the plus icon. And now we can actually grab that game file by going into our USB file transfer tool and navigating back to our computer. Now in our SD card on our computer for our Nintendo Switch, you're gonna look for a folder called MIG Dump Tool. You're gonna look for a folder called whatever your game is, and it's already gonna be ready to go rather than you having to mess around with anything. So the next thing you're gonna do is just plug your micro SD card that's gonna go into your MIG Switch. Your MIG Switch is gonna be formatted just to XFAT if you want to have games that are larger than four gigabytes or yeah, four gigabytes, then make sure it's XFAT. Now grab that entire folder, drag it onto the root of your SD card and wait for it to copy. All right, now that we have our game finally copied over 10 years later, 
Yes, it does take some time if you just copy it directly from your Switch to your micro SD card. You can see that the game file is already compressed into an XEI folder. And inside this folder is five different files. Now I'm not gonna show you all these files, but these are the, the five files that we have to have for this to work. So now on our Nintendo Switch, we can press start, press home, press the X icon and close the game. And then we can take out our Zelda Link's Awakening and forever store it in our case, just like so, or you can give it to your kids or something because I'm always going to stay offline with my MIG switch for a lot of these games. Whereas some games like Mario Kart, for example, if you decide to go online and you have somebody else using your other game, I'm not sure if at this time that will cause your console to get banned or shut off or something, but we don't know yet. So I'm not going to test that. Anyways, now that we have that file copied over, we're going to grab our micro SD card from our computer and plug it into our MIG switch. Now, once we have this plugged in, we can just pop it right into our console and it's going to navigate to that game. Now, if you have multiple games on here, of course, you're going to have to pop it out, pop it back in. But in my case, I only have one game. Now, let's unplug this from the computer because we don't need that anymore and just jump right into your game. Now, if you need to get an update, then get the update however you need to. I can get my update from Tinfoil, for example, because I have a hack switch. But if you plug this into a normal Nintendo Switch that's not hacked or anything and you updated it, via the internet then you wouldn't have a problem now that you're done updating your game then you can actually navigate inside your game and just start playing it like it's a normal game as you can see my other game is still sitting right here and this game is my make switch zelda links awakening have a great day guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video don't forget to share if you want to teach other people that they can use their MIG Switch flash cart alongside their hacked Nintendo Switch to dump their games and play backups of their games on the go.